Hello right, guys, welcome back. Now, today's episode is going to be a little short one. I'm just going to show you how I did my refugium tank. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how I did it and uh, stay tuned. And it's actually sponsored by our new sponsor. It's uh, Nadu Motor Mechanics. Okay, uh, I had a little little tanks laying around, uh, so I've drilled two holes out of it. Uh, they're about 20 mils. Uh, this is where the water is going to come in. So basically, it's going to come in through my sump, and it's going to come in here and, and through here, and that's my outlet. So water's going to come back into the tank. So what I did was I cut a uh, bit of propest glass, I didn't do it too high, and I put a divider. So I'm going to get some uh, mud, and I'm going to put some mud here, and then I'm going to see if I can... I've got one here which I found at the beach, um, it's a mangrove, so I'm actually going to put it in my sump, so I'm going to put uh, probably about that much dirt and um, I put a divider so the dirt doesn't, you know, uh, go all over this area where my cellos, I'm going to buy one and, um, yeah, and make it actually grow. So I'll just put one mangrove tree or two little ones, what I can find at the beach. Um, and also I purchased a, a growing light. Now, um, this growing light, it's about 18 watts and uh, set me back about $20 on um, eBay, so which is pretty good. Uh, it will do, you know, a, the job. It's only a little, little tank. So at the moment now, I just silicon all the edges, so it's still a bit, a bit wet. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've. Uh, actually done. I put it here next to it. Um, I was going to put it on the side but yeah it's a bit crampy so I just put it on the side and I'm going to get myself a timer. So yeah so what I've what you need to do this is I mean you don't have to have a little small tank just you know I've just done a small tank so I'm going to try it out for the first time and I'm going to use uh, one of these pumps it's got a level controller so uh, it's a bit powerful but it's got a level controller so I can reduce the pressure on the water and also I'm going to gonna put a heater now I set the heater as you can see it's a bit hard I set it up to 26 degrees so and um, and another thing I'm going to put which I've seen a lot of guys doing a lot of video uh, I'm gonna put a filter and it's going to have a aerator so bubbles are going to start um, flowing through the water so yeah so i've got all the stuff all ready so all i'm going to do is just wait till this dries and um yeah so and the uv light i'm very happy with it it's one of these uh hang on ones so it's actually pretty good and uh with this you can actually bend it any way you want it so yeah so yeah, we'll see the, the finished product soon. Um, what I've got to do is once everything dries, I've got to use uh, the sump water uh, to fill it up and I might leave it for about two or three days. Uh, it is a new tank and hopefully with the nourishment in the water will actually stabilize the tank. Um, and yeah, and then once everything's all working good, then I can plant my mangrove and I can get some cellos and uh, yeah, see how it all works. There you go guys, so I just uh, finished it. Everything was all dried and uh, yeah, I just put everything. So I've actually put a heater at the back. I set it up at 20, 23, 24 degrees. Um, as you can see, I put a pump 
and I've seen other videos that guys put uh, air bubbles so um, and it's good for the actual plant as well uh, the soil is in so it looks pretty good uh, put some um, uh, dead rock uh, hopefully they'll they'll pick up and uh, with the plumbing I had to put a valve uh, the pump that I've got is a bit uh, a bit powerful. I'll put it in the, the lowest uh, stage, but uh, it's still too powerful. So I just had to put a, uh, a valve, which leads to the, the sump. And uh, the water is draining out. So it's actually perfect. So everything's all working good. I'm happy with it. So... I just got to get some cellos and uh, we'll see the results later on. But uh, light's good. I'll just turn it on just now, but I've got to set it as a timer. I've got to turn it on at night time. I uh, just wanted to give you an update and see how everything's going. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, yeah, I just uh, can't wait to get my cello. Uh, water is crystal clear. I was hoping that uh, it wasn't going to get like a bloom, it wasn't going to go all cloudy. Um, you know, you get that when you get a new tank. But uh, so far, so good. Everything was running all night. And um, yeah, so everything seems to be perfectly fine. So, no leaks. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Oh, that's all we got time. Um, stay tuned for some more. I'll do a follow up on the. Uh, once I get the cello, I'll do a more follow up and let you know how my fusion is going. But uh, so far, so good, guys. Uh, I like it. Um, you know, not bad for a first time. Uh, but I'll give you a follow up and uh, yeah, see how I go. Alright guys, till next time, hooroo!